I, I can remember it and, and, and I get chill bumps uh, all the time thinking about breaking the locker room huddle, coming down the tunnel and you just hear the click clack, click clack, click clack. You just hear that for, it seems almost like an eternity. It, takes, it feels like it's so long to get down to the end of the tunnel. And then you slowly but surely start to see little bits and pieces of the Coliseum stands and you hear the fans cheering and screaming once you get out to the bottom of the tunnel. And uh, it's just one of those feelings that can't be put into words and you just have to experience it. And I was lucky and blessed to experience it for, for five years. Um, and, and I just thank everybody. I mean, from the regular fans to the people who were in the Cardinal and Gold Club to the, to the herd. I mean, every single person that was there that supported not only myself, but my teammates over those years and still support the uh, USC now. There's a guy off the field, a gentle guy, but when you're in that zone, describe to me the difference between those two personalities and how you have to break it down as a football player. Uh, well, I mean, just like we were talking a little bit ago, there's an alter ego. You know, there's Thomas, T. Will, and the Hitman. Hitman was given to me by Coach Carroll. Uh, that's the guy who came out on uh, Saturdays and now comes out on Sundays. Um, somebody who I get to turn on the light switch and just be completely who I'm really not Monday through Saturdays, you know. And uh, it's, it, it's a great ability to transform from who you are throughout the week and then for those 60 minutes uh, during the football game. That's, that's how I explain uh, the two. You were the emotional leader, one of the emotional leaders on some great teams. Was that a role that just came naturally to you or did you feel like you know that, that team always needed your energy, your spark, particularly at the start of games? Y'all ready? Yeah! Y'all ready? Yeah! Right field! Yeah. Right field! Yeah. Right field! Yeah. Right field. Well, I wouldn't say that I was the one, or I would say more so it was the guys who I got a chance to play with who pumped me up. They, were, they, they, they might not know it, but they fired me up and they inspired me. And uh, then it just came naturally from, uh, from just who I am as a person and who I am as a player. This is what it's about. And if you ain't willing to give it up, stay your ass here. Because I'll tell whoever coming with me. Yeah. So, you know, thanks to the Cedric Ellis's, the Keith Rivers, the Reggie Bush, the Matt Liners, Brian Cushing, I mean, the whole group of guys in that LBU core, you know, the Clays, Kalukas, all, Ray Malugas, all those guys, they inspired me to actually do what I do. Now that you look back on it, what, what was your greatest moment at USC? Greatest moment? I would definitely say winning all the bowl games. That, that, that's, there's, there's no, nothing like it, you know, uh, graduating, coming into uh, college with you know, 23 other guys as freshmen leaving and now playing on Sundays in the NFL and seeing, you know, 40, 50, 60 guys, you know, on opposing teams uh, each week. Tell us about that NFL fraternity. Uh, how, how, people always talk about it, but how real is it, uh, that, that Trojan fraternity at the next level? Oh, it's great. I mean, we had competition Tuesdays every week, as you know, uh, out on, uh, on the practice field. But uh, we don't get to do that, you know, uh, as much because guys are spread out. But we have competition Sundays now. So I don't want anybody who I played against for those four or five years to beat me. Uh, I don't want them to be able to look at me in the off season and say, we own you guys or we beat you. So it's the same competition. It's just uh, spread out through uh, 17 weeks now.